updated top five offensive playbooks in Madden 25. Number five on our list is going to be the Cardinals offensive playbook. Going to be doing this, kind of showing you some of my favorite plays in each of the playbooks. If you guys want to check out my full eBooks, Madden or college football, they're available in our school community, school community, uh, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Link is going to be in the description below. You get everything by being a member for just $10, all of the eBooks, all the updates, everything you need to get better at this game. If you want to sign up for our community over there, the link is going to be down below. But Cardinals Playbook is uh, number five on our list. So we're going to try to rank these from five, uh, basically five to one, if you will, uh, in terms of a top five format. Halfback stretch, you got wing tight, nice little um, red zone style formation, wing pair, another good running formation. You have a couple just decent, you know, you're basically you're looking for under center uh, to have some good red zone style formations, deuce close with a stretch. You're just looking for different types of runs down here. One of the runs that I think is one of the more underrated runs this year is the power O. Um, I think the power O is a really, really good run if you can get access to it. They have a tight wire flex formation, which you can audible into out of like bunch. It has jet sweep. It has halfback dive. And it has wide zone. So I think that's really, really good. And then it has a wide trips with a stretch and a zero one trap. So not too bad there. You have I tight. This is a great under center running formation because it has power O, stretch, counter, blast, fullback dive. Fullback pitch, halfback dive, really good run plays here. It also has deuce close with the cheat read flat. This is a super good money play um, in the red zone. Really nice little just kind of like a, kind of a gimmick play, but really good. Does have split close in here. Um, their split close is kind of like it's okay. It's not. It's got some decent routes in it. But basically, what you're looking for in any good playbook is you're looking for effective routes. You're looking for effective formations. Those are kind of the two main things that you're looking for. Has a decent deuce close. Let's take a look at their tight Y off week. Kind of some decent things uh, in here. Post will drag, shallow cross, and then it has this doubles uh, doubles hip formation. It's kind of like normal Y off close, uh, but it's got some really good plays in here. You've got um, I'll set some audibles while we're here. So we've got. Um, What's that play called? Switch wide receiver drag. Really good play. You have flood drive. Uh, and then let's see if we have an RPO. Do we have an RPO in here? We have read option. Well, that'll be fine. And then we have uh, PA slot cross. These are some good plays uh, just to be able to audible into the switch wide receiver drag with the short corner, tight end wheel, and S post. Really, really good little play and a lot of things you can do out of this formation. You have kind of a standard gun doubles with a base. And uh, kind of a couple different routes there. You have doubles halfback weak, which is one of the more up and coming formations uh, just for the spacing that it provides. You have wide trips. Then you have this bunch strong offset. I believe this is the only formation in the game that has these specific motions out of bunch strong. You have a nice motion RPO alert swing, a motion fake toss verticals, which is a play that we are going to be going over. And then you have kind of some other things out of this. You have Vert's Dig, which is a really good play. You have Wide Trail. You have Flood, which is a super, super important play. And I would probably in this Vert's Dig, I'd actually probably utilize Seattle just because you have that nice short crossing route. And then let's see if we have any other good plays. You have a duo, which is really a nice play out of this. The only play you don't really have is Corner Strike and Durham or Dagger. Uh, but you can kind of recreate those conceptually. And then you have Shotgun Bunch. Um, in this Shotgun Bunch, you have really, really good plays. Um, you have a Smash Return. You have Dig Return. You have Verticals. So you still have kind of a decent bunch uh, within this playbook as well. I really like Bunch Trail a lot. If I was using this playbook, I would kind of base my offense out of Bunch Strong, and we're going to go over that in a minute. You have um, Bunch Y Flex in this formation. It's kind of an up-and-coming formation in this year's game. You have the RPO. You have Verticals, Branch Return, really good plays there. I wish we had a Dig Return, but Dagger is just fine. We could put that in our audibles. You also have Tight Open. Uh, tight Open is one of those formations that I feel like you need in your playbook. You don't really, you don't always need it, but it's really good against man coverage, uh, which would be why you would want to be in it. And let's go ahead and take a look at this mo these some of these cheap motions with this motion fake vertical. So why is this play really good? These cheap motion plays are super good this year because they are really good against man and zone coverages. So first and foremost, I just want to start out with a basic man coverage. 
And you, from a route combo p- perspective here, we basically could just put the running back on a streak, put this guy on a drag, and then we might stem this post down one, something like this. But what you're going to see is this guy's going to motion behind the quarterback. This specific style of cheat motion is really one of the most effective uh, ways to do it. And as you see, it just kills man coverage. You're not going to be able to play good man coverage on that route. And then the other thing of the other thing with this is you can also throw this specific one because he goes behind the quarterback. You can kind of like throw it against a lot of different zones, and then that's going to open up the middle of the field to be able to utilize some of these crossing routes and things like that. So this is one of those unique plays in this formation that I think is really good. And again, just a simple combo like this, kind of a pretty decent one. And you'll see here that, again, just opens up the entire middle of the field for you to be able to to hit a lot of different things. Another thing you could do is you could um, utilize this as a short side concept. So if it's a short side concept, now what we're able to do is we can take this outside receiver, put him on a streak, and then we can put the running back on really whatever we want. If we want to just put the running back on a, a in route, it's perfectly fine. Um, but what you're going to see with this concept is this streak is now going to pull the outside zones to him, and you can throw this against zone over the top, specifically on the short side of the field. Another reason why this is a really, really good play to have in your arsenal is one of the more popular things that I see a lot, especially if I want to run bunch strong, is any kind of cover two to the bunch side. You're going to see here that against cover two to the bunch bunch side, this cor- or this um, little route is going to get over the top of cover two really easily. Now, one thing that you I did want to show is let's say that they are soft squatting and let's say that you're kind of do this combo right here. This soft squat typically will still match this uh, tight end route. So you'll see here, he'll kind of match him and play him up the field. It's not super good for us. So what you want to do is if that's something that they're actually going to do like consistently, all you need to do here is just flat this outside guy and put the running back on a streak something like a route combo like this. The reason this is going to be good is it's going to really manipulate cover to sink or any kind of soft squat over there on the right side. You'll see that that soft squat will stay down now and we're able to hit this over the top. So it's great because it kind of forces them away from man coverage. It doesn't, you, you, they don't want to be in man coverage against this play. And then they also don't want to be in, in um, really any kind of cover two. And so it kind of forces them into cover three or cover four coverage. You'll see here that if they are backing off their man coverage, it can be a little bit better. But if they're pressing, and this is why these cheat motion plays are so good against press man, if they're which press man is the best kind of man. If they're pressing you and they're playing that press man, you kind of see how he gets stuck. And then this is just open. It doesn't really matter if they shade down or not. So it's kind of a super... Uh, super effective uh, play within within this offense. Okay, you also have flood. Uh, flood is really good. It's one of the best plays in bunch strong this year. It might be the best uh, play in the formation this year. It just it just beats a lot of stuff, and there's a lot of ways to run it. One of the best routes in this game is, of course, this glitchy fade route. You also have Seattle, which I really like just because it has a crosser. This is really good against zone, a play like this, uh, just because it spaces the field really, really well, and then you can just throw that that crosser on, on the um, – on the left side, let me try to show you the actual setup here. Hopefully it won't get screamed at. But what you'll see is when he gets kind of over the top of that yellow zone, you're basically what you're doing is you're putting the flat defender on the left side in a ton of conflict. And, you know, really simple. You, it's just a very, very good play. If they back up, you can just throw the drag. So really like that play a lot. But uh, as far as the rest of the stuff for Cardo's book, again, you just have a lot of different ways to get into a bunch type set and bunch being, you know, obviously the best offense in the game this year, different types of bunches. But then also kind of a worth mentioning is this doubles hip. Uh, this doubles hip is really good. You have this uh, kind of short corner here. If you wanted to do, you know, some combos like this, perfectly fine. But take a look at the short corner. So you see there like the curl flat does play the short corner but what a lot of people will do is they shade underneath and so when they're shading underneath and they're playing their uh, hard flat coverage over there that's where this play really becomes super good because you're going to be able to hit this short corner against that outside quarter even though it's like on the hash so you can hit this be great if Penix could make a throw 
Let me take a look at this one more time. And we'll use those hard flats. And just take a look. Look at these short corner get bumped in practice. But you see there, see how the quarter doesn't really react to the ball. So what do they have to do to stop that? Well, they basically have to play curl flat coverage. Well, okay, you go to play curl flat coverage on an offense like this, then we could just do things like, you know, something like this here on this left side. But now you have this post coming back across. So you could hit your flat route or you can hit the post as a kind of a big play in the middle of the field. So Cardinals playbook, a lot of value and a lot of things that you can do with it. All right, coming in number four on our list is the Patriots offensive playbook. Now, this is the only playbook on the list, in my opinion, next to maybe Bunch Strong or uh, Bears, that is kind of a static offense. What do I mean when I say static? I just basically mean that you're not going to audible around a lot. You're going to consistently utilize this playbook for a couple of specific formations, a couple of different ways that this playbook can be ran. And this is more of a classic style of play. Um, so a lot of the famous Pats formations are still in here. You have wing pair with the stretch, the dive. Um, you have, you know, good under center stuff, a slot with a nice stretch and a nice little bubble screen that you have. Um, and then you have a dive. This one also has a power O in it. So it's a really good under center one. Um, kind of an underrated single back bunch with this play tight end hooks. One of my favorite bunch plays of all time. And then it has dig return in here. So some good under center passing uh, within this playbook, a pretty nice little tight Y off good doubles, good uh, single back trips in here, uh, which is a nice little audible down type of formation so some good formations um some more old school stuff do have a couple really unique plays in the tight wild flex with the rpo read flat wheel uh cheat double pass this is in a, a pistol set so these are always really good uh just kind of good little gimmick again gimmick type plays for the red zone but then when you get to their shotgun um, the main reason why you would want to be in the Patriots playbook as compared to some of these other, it has the doubles hip that we talked about with the switch wide receiver drag, the flood, the Piego slot cross, the read option, some good plays in this. It also has, though, a really old school style of passing out of their gun uh, doubles and specifically their Y off trips pats. This formation is also known as U-Trips, and this is one of the main formations you would want to be in if you're in Patriots. Really, you're going to be in Patriots for one of two reasons. Most of the time, it's going to be for this formation. Sometimes it'll be for an old-school style of trips tied in where you have PA slot corner, you have quick base, you have a lot of the classic trips plays that are really good. This does have kind of more of an old school bunch as well with a uh, bunch sail, a uh, bunch verts with the in route. It has curl flat. It has a uh, corner strike. So kind of an old school style bunch. It's not a terrible bunch by any means. They do have bunch Y flex, which again, this is a formation that's getting a look this year by a lot of people. They have tight open too. So they have some of the, some of the new wave type stuff, but it's also a lot of the old school passing um, kind of mixed in with this, this trip side in flex. I wish this had a cheap motion in it, uh, but it just doesn't. But anyways, in general, the main reason you would be in this formation. So this Wild Trips Week's also kind of a, a nice red zone audible, and I'll kind of go over that a little bit. Uh, but you just have some – I would just use these motion plays. I wouldn't make it that complicated. I would use um, – you know, a lot of these motion plays are really good. This motion uh, – Motion fade dagger is kind of cool. Uh, motion slot whip in is kind of cool. So you just have some cool uh, cheat motion style of, of plays. But then the U-trips. The U-trips is really, I think, why you would want to be in this uh, this playbook. You have curl flat in here. Uh, the runs in this book, uh, in the U-trips this year, are really good. Um, y option wheel is one of my personal favorite plays in this this year. You have, um, I would be coming out in tight end whip as much as possible. And then you have kind of some other really good plays like Pat slot out. You have these glitchy fade routes in this playbook as well. Um, slot out is really, really good. Uh, PA cross is okay. Y out is okay. Um, probably the main one I would probably go with is Y out over here. 
Uh, and then we would be coming out in the play tight end whip because it's got a stock tight end zig. And this tight end zig can also be stemmed as well. So you could stem it up, but you can also stem it down super low. So it's a super quick hitting route in this formation. The reason U trips is good this year is because motion in general is really good this year, especially against man coverage. So you could go to a you know formation like Wapsh and Wheel, run a combo like this, and this is going to space out really well. With the way zone plays this year, these wheels in the seam area are back against zone. They're really good. And then the other thing about tight end whip is if they're not going to play this kind of underneath style approach, for example, like this, then you're going to be able to take advantage of this just little quick whip route if they're not using those five-yard yellow zones, which is really the main way you stop this play. Another thing I like about tight end whip this year is a combo like this. This is kind of an kind of similar to what Kobo was doing last year out of trips tight end, uh, but it's basically uh, the cool part about this is this is just really good for switch stick because it's hard to use her both sides on this. It's hard to switch stick this. One of the hardest route combos to guard in this formation is this because I can throw this running back. Um, against a lot of a lot of different zone coverages if we could actually get him to animate for a catch let's see if we can actually get that here uh, and then I also still have that zig so if they're not playing that shaded down or hard flat uh, type of coverage then I'm gonna be able to manip manipulate them over there I'll talk about that tight end whip route against man as well if they are playing kind of that shaded down then it's going to open up this back end for this post route um, which is a really unique post route in, in U trips. One of the things that U troops has that I think is really valuable is it has this old school type of post from the solo receiver. These are what I call short posts now. Um, these are really good. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do something like this, uh, perfectly good spaced, well spaced combo. But watch this short post. You're going to see it's going to get into an area of the field that you just don't see attacked very much uh, in this game. The other reason why I like this short post is the short post beat man coverage really, really well. So you're going to be able to manipulate man coverage really well. And, you know, you could do just a simple play like this. Take a look at this tight end whip route. That beats man. And then this sharp cutting post is really, really good against man coverage. It's kind of the old slot apprentice type of post route. So you have some cool post routes in here. Um, you also have slot out. As you see, it has that slot post. It also has a speed out from the slot receiver. So let's say that, you know, we're getting a lot of man coverage. This speed out can beat man pretty quick. Now, again, something unique about Pat's, about uh, U-Trips this year is that you can stem these out routes uh at least i thought you could can you not maybe you can't i guess i was wrong you cannot stem these out routes i thought you could stem these out routes i guess you can only stem the zig um but anyway you can stem the uh the zig route so if we go back to tight end whip you'll see here against man coverage we might stem this in route or zig route all the way down look how fast that cuts that's quick and so just again quick hitters is what has made u trips really good for a long time and one of the more underrated things about U-Trips this year is it has these short post routes that do a really good job at beating man coverage. So the spacing's really good, and it has uh, some really unique routes that make it kind of worth looking at as an offensive playbook. Coming in at number three on our list is the Chicago Bears offensive playbook. It's got a full wing pair, good under center running formation with even a wide receiver screen attached to it. It's got some really cool stuff under center uh, that you can do. Good red zone, power O, ace close uh, with a jet sweep and a stretch and a uh, an inside type zone run. It also has tight doubles. Uh, tight doubles, always a good little kind of audible into formation. Has wing slot uh, with the power O motion play has uh, just some good plays under center that is pretty good. Has I-form tight, a full I-form tight to be able to run the ball uh, and get in in the ends or in the red zone. This is super key this year because you don't wanna really want to be passing the ball in the red zone. So some really good under center formations uh, that I think make this one of the better playbooks in the game. Again, I have it number three on my list right now. The main reason why I don't have this playbook higher is because it is kind of similar to Patriots in the sense that it's kind of um, you're not going to audible around in this playbook a ton. While it does have some cool plays, um, it doesn't have like 
bunch, bunch tight end, trips tight, you know what I mean? It, it, you're going to be kind of staying in um, a kind of standard alignment, which I'm going to go over that. Uh, their normal Y off close is kind of unique. It has some unique motion plays with running back. Um, it also has that red zone uh, play. Flex way off, not really that good of a formation this year. Don't see why you would want to run this formation. Y off trio is okay, uh, but it does have a trip. So it has tray offset, which is very similar to trips. Has an RPO screen in here, a draw play, but it doesn't have a bubble screen, which I think is a bubble screen is really good uh, from trips this year. But it does have the best bunch strong offset in the game, unless you want that motion play that we talked about from Cardinals. So this is, has a full bunch strong offset um i have a full ebook on this playbook in the school community uh but what is really cool about bears is it has bunch strong offset with flood it has everything you need from bunch strong so it has corner strike the rpo duo play the dagger um our red zone pa corner with the c route on the outside so you basically just come out and flood and you're ready to ball. Um, it also has, or did I accidentally switch to chargers here? It has uh, the motion plays. Actually, I think this is chargers. Huh. I think this is definitely chargers. Okay. Well, this is chargers. <laughs> um, okay. Well, no problem. So you have a trips. So you don't have the bubble screen, uh, but you have a good bunch strong. You have a full bunch strong. You have the, the PA play. You have everything you need, really need um, from bunch strong. You also have this play motion cross post. This motion series from Bunch X Nasty is really why Chargers is something that could be considered one of the best playbooks in the game. I have it at number two on my list uh, in front of Bears. We're going to go over Bears after this, but I do think Bears does have some things in it that Chargers doesn't have, including one of the best, one of the best run plays in the game that I don't see really anybody running. So I want to show you uh, just how this game, how this could work for you. And uh, we'll just come out and flood, and then we'll just go against uh, we'll just go against random uh, random plays here. Maybe okay. There we go. So uh, what makes this really good is you have you have a full bunch strong with flood dagger corner strike. Those are the plays that I think are the best from bunch strong. The only play it doesn't have um, it doesn't have Durham. Uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have uh, Seattle. It doesn't have Verts Wide Dig, and it doesn't have Wide Trail. So you will have that in Bears, but it has Dagger, Corner Strike, Flood, which are the big three plays from this. Then you can audible into Bunch X Nasty. I'm going to show you something kind of cool. Um, this is We do have a full ebook on Chargers as well in our school community, but if you take a look at this, you have this RPO play. This is one of the best RPO plays in the game. It's really hard for them to guard the um, the motion the motion little uh, swing pass. Super hard from the guard. You can also stem this out route like all the way up and it basically is going to turn into a streak and a lot of times you'll see here well i could have probably thrown that he just got stuck but you can throw that against me in coverage you also have this play motion cross post which is kind of similar to what we were talking about before um these auto motion plays are really really effective because they just kill cover two it's hard to play cover two against this Penix gave me probably the worst throw i've ever seen by quarterback in this game on that play but you'll see here that this is a pretty good little little way to attack uh, zone coverage. You have just some simple plays, um, and you'll see here, see how that was cover three, so you'd want more of an aggressive catch type of situation, really would want more of a press situation uh, than what we got here. But anyways, really good against man. Uh, I have a full breakdown on this play, uh, and then I also talk a little bit about it in a YouTube video I did. So against man coverage, really good because you see how he kind of follows him like this, and then he'll get a step on the man coverage most of the time, and you can just loft this over the top of the defender. So you have that going for you in here. You also have this play motion wide corner under, uh, which is really good with the tight end short corner just run a simple tight end short corner i really like doing something like this i probably should put the running back on a flat route but the short corner is really good if they're playing hard flats um, or just playing cover three cover four coverage it's going to do a good job and then you also have um, another setup that i like out of this motion cross post is just using this crosser and so we would maybe do something like a simple streak with a flat uh, just some something like this is pretty effective this year. So if the motion play is covered, then the running back be open. A lot of times that motion that motion route is going to be money for you, especially against a lot of the main things that people like to do defensively this year. 
And you also have the seam streak attached to it, so it's kind of just it just attacks the seams really, really well. It's super hard for man coverage to play this well. My receiver's a little slower than my corners are right now, so that could be part of the issue. You also have corner strike with the short corner. The short corner is one of the best man-beating routes in the game. Just consistently can do a really good job at beating man. And then you have dagger, one of the best quick hike plays in the game. And also the cool part about dagger is there's a lot of different ways to run it. Now, if you ever see double mug, you really want to go to this audible play. Um, this audible play just gives double mug a ton of issues. You see, they follow him like this. And then, you know, if they're running cover two, I gotta have a little bit more time, but we'll be able to hit the, um, hit the outside fade. So if you ever see double mug, this is a really, really good, uh, really, really, really good series to be in. Another one of my plays that I like is this play out of motion cross under, uh, with the short corner, the short corner normally uh, pulls the outside third. Again, the main reason a lot of this, guys, um, that you're seeing here, which we'll just kind of illustrate here, it's just because they're not hard flatting. And if if because the computer rarely hard flats, if they're not hard flatting, just throw your simple check downs, right? Uh, but in general, this is a really, really good formation. Uh, you have you have Bunch Strong here. They finally hard flat. The hook curl plays unbelievably well as I get instant shed it. I might never let the computer call defense again because they'd never call a hard flat and we can't actually show you what it would be realistically in a, in a real game because if they're never going to guard the flats, why would you, you know, you basically just always go, always throw the flat route. So, you know, see, I mean, I could throw a bajillion drags against the computer, but in general, these are the two formations that you have. If you ever see uh, that are really good, you do have the trips formation as well, but really it's bunch strong to bunch X nasty. It would be why you would want to run this. And this RPO play is really good if you want to, kind of mix this in and then you also on top of all that you have um you know kind of some of your other standard plays uh that i think are really really good in this formation so again this is kind of how i like to run this playbook and how i like to utilize um these formations i think they're really good against man really good against zone but in general you know that's that's pretty much chargers but the main thing here guys is just take your take your check downs against the computer so anyway that's chargers we'll get into bears next Okay, guys. So for a quick tip that you might not have known, since we're uh, since we're into the video here, is if you are picking your playbooks, okay, you see how I have the Bears playbook selected, but it gave me the Chargers playbook. Just a small thing that I wanted to just mention because why not? If you have the issue that I just had, sometimes this happens. It's kind of a bug in the game right now. Go into your main menu settings, and you see here I have the Chargers playbook. So what you would want to do is you would just want to go through here. And we will actually make this Chicago's playbook. As you can see, we make it Chicago's playbook. And then it'll auto save and we go back into Ultimate Team and we'll be able to actually access our playbook. So, again, it's a little thing, but I did want to mention to it because it is something that happens to me a ton. Um, obviously, I use a lot of different playbooks, do a lot of different schemes with them. So now we have the Bears playbook not only selected here, but we also have it selected the main menu. And when we load in, I will actually be able to break down Bears for you. So, just kind of something little that I thought was worth mentioning. And let's take a look at the Bears playbook. So the Bears playbook has, uh, again, the good under, he does, it does have good under center still. So you have um, a lot of good under center running type formations. Every playbook really needs that because you need to be able to score inside the five. Okay. That's like super important in this year's game. And you really don't want to be passing down there. You want to be running if possible. So the more runs you have under center, the better. This playbook in particular does have a single back bunch X and nasty and a single back tight Y off flex. So it has some really good audible down type formations. It has uh, the pistol. There was a play out of, I think it was the pistol deuce close. No, um, they, have, they have, even have a pistol bunch X nasty and a pistol trips with the pistol trips RPO bubble. The RPO bubble out of trips is really good this year. But what makes this offensive playbook really good is and again i have the chargers number two and i have bears number three just just because of the glitch there it got kind of uh, bugged out you have normal y off close with a good rpo a good mesh spot y sale uh and then i think um what was that other play mesh spot y sale and red zone scissors and escape those are all really good plays uh you have a lot of zigs and return zigs like pivot return out of tight y off has a return route um and then you get into this as we kind of get through here and I want to show you really these formations. These four formations are really good. Why off trips? Why off trips has, um, in my opinion, some of the best plays in the game. It has the sprint flood play. It has halfback direct snap. 
RPO read flat and RPO bubble Y pop. This is a really, really good gimmick scheme and red zone formation. And I'll go over that. We also have Y off trips week. And in this formation, um, you have kind of a lot of more basic passing plays, but this looks very similar to this. Okay. So you can kind of go between, uh, go between these two plays and then you have Bunch Strong Nasty. Now, this has got all the good plays you need out of Bunch Strong Nasty. Mesh Flat Spot, RPO Read Bubble, Wide Trail, Dagger. These are the best plays in this formation. It does have that PA Bunch Shot if you want to use that. And it has some kind of goal line, short corner stuff if you want to get into that. Bunch Strong Offset. This has everything you need out of Bunch Strong Offset. You have Flood. RPO Alert Screen. Verts Dig. You have Wide Trail. The only thing this doesn't have is the auto motion play in Seattle. I really like Seattle, um, but it's okay. You have what you need in here. Now, bunch Y flex, this formation. It does have some cheap motion stuff, but it's not super effective. What's really effective out of this is smash return, this motion inside post with kind of a unique inside post, and it still has a return route within it, um, which honestly you don't even need smash return. Verticals and speed dig. Let's see if we have anything better than this. Uh, we'll actually use this motion zig. I bet you that's, we could get some stuff done with that. Uh, speed dig, not super important. Honestly, I'd probably, I'd rather have something else, but there's nothing else that's like super crazy good. Flood is not terrible, uh, but in general, you don't really need that either. So we'll just, we'll just rock with that. You have double stack, which has always been a good gimmick formation. You have a, a kind of more of an air raid style spread with this RPO slot slide. Um, it also has trips. This trips is a good audible formation into as well, because why do you have an RPO read bubble? Those are really good in the red zone. Having these RPOs, is really really nice in the red zone okay so anyways let's go ahead and show you what i would do with this book so what i would do with this book is we have all the stuff we just showed you out of bunch strong we have that in this book but what is really cool about this is this book is going to be really good for things like seam streaks because you can run a seam streak on the left side and then you can run a seam streak on the right side so you can kind of just basically you always have the ability to have a seam streak on your field and we know how good those seam streaks are um, especially against the way most people are going to be playing coverage now again as i said in the last video you know, you could pretty much always throw a drag in this game if they're not shading underneath. So they're going to have to shade underneath. Um, the other thing you have in here is you have corner strike. You've got a little simple high-low read here to the right. Uh, simple high-low read to the left side. Really nice uh, little formation. One of the great things to do out of this would be to motion the running back out and utilize these speed outs. Uh, I really like to do something like this. I think this is a decent play. You know, and then you're able to, you know, kind of use that post in the middle of the field. And that streak kind of does couple different purposes for you again i really like this audible right here and being able to kind of get into some of the best plays in the game really 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 quickly look at the sheds and practice mode just absolutely just you know just just being fantastic um you still have durham right verts dig this is a great play this year and um let's see if we can get that post to be able to beat man I think I think the practice mode pressure is absolute. I just always think this is just the craziest pressure you've ever seen. But anyway, yeah. So you see there, good bunch strong, good bunch strong nasty. Now, uh, I did want to go over this red zone kind of mini little just mini gimmick scheme here. So what you have in here is you have uh, what I would consider to be one of the best runs in the game, and that is this halfback direct snap. Uh, this halfback direct snap is really good, especially against a lot of the meta ways people want to play defense. Just direct snap, you get really good blocking. It's really hard to stop that run. So you have that going for you. The other thing that you have going for you is you have this sprint out play. Um, this sprint out play is going to give you a pretty good scramble ability with the quarterback here. As you see, I can just instantly roll out, get out there. And a lot of times, it's going to be hard to guard as well. Get up there, gearing up to stop your run to the right. Now you have kind of this little sprint out play where everything is going to the right side. Um, but really what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to scramble out here to the left side, as you see here, able to get out. Now, sometimes it won't be there. You can just throw it away, but just something to kind of think about. The other thing that you have in this formation is you have this RPO read flat. In my opinion, this is the best RPO in the game. Really what we're looking for here is this tight end. You see that corner pretty much always takes a step inside. And so you can easily just throw this out here and it's going to be very difficult for them to consistently pick the ball. Um, it's, just a, it's just a really hard RPO to defend. It's hard for them to get out there and pick this. 
A lot of touchdowns are going to be thrown just by calling this play. Another thing that you have in this formation is you have uh, RPO bubble pop, which has this tight end on a streak. So you're looking out here at the bubble screen, but you're also kind of peeking that tight end. You can high point this tight end um, against most most defenses. Uh, the high point is very difficult to be usered. So, you know, you'll see kind of how this plays out. But really, you know, Look at this tight end. A lot of times that's actually open. Obviously, if it's covered, don't throw it, but but something to look at. Uh, and then corner strike. Again, I just love corner strike down here. I think corner strike is really good in the red zone, and doing a combo like this is uh, normally going to be money for you. So there's just a lot of good plays in Bears. It's a really, uh, again, it's really centered around the bunch strong and bunch strong nasty, which are uh, two of the best formations in this year's game. And coming in at number one on our list is the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. Um, this playbook has everything that you need to be good in this game. It has cheap motion plays. It has a lot of different variations of bunch and bunch strong. It has great stock routes. It has good audibles. There's so many things to like about the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. Again, some of these really unique kind of cheap motions, jet sweeps, things of that nature are super good in this formation. Um, you also still have kind of a nice under center style running plays, such as the eye close with the stretch. You have the eye form wing that's really good. You have strong close, weak close with a couple nice little plays for the goal line, split Y off, which is an up and coming formation. Uh, but really what makes this offense so good is it has a lot of good cheap motion plays and a lot of good formations. For example, um, this tight Y off has this little RP zone, RPO zone with a cheap motion. It has um, this cheap quick spot play. Um, really, these cheap motion plays are kind of the core of what I would do with this playbook. I really like a lot of these cheap motion plays, but it also has a really good play um, in the zero one trap, the flood drive play, the switch wide receiver drag play. These are all really, really nice formations to have. Again, I can't recommend enough. Mess around with cheap motion in this game. It's really good. Um, there's a reason a lot of the pro players have switched away from from. Um, from the Colts playbook, and the main reason why is because the Colts playbook doesn't have a lot of good cheap motion plays, right? So having good cheap motion plays just makes it easier because you always know you're going to have good plays and good ways to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage consistently in this. Again, I mean, they just literally have cheap motion everywhere in this playbook you have cheat slot cross you have cheat crossers you have a cheat halfback draw off of it uh, what is really cool and i'm glad ea did with this game is they put these motions in but they did so in a way where you can actually use them and scheme around them uh, which makes it super good they have trips tied in more of a classic style of trips but still a really really good trips and this trips has the bubble screen they have bunch wide with a lot of unique cheat motions you have cheat flood dig return corner divide cheat slot cross these are all really really good plays i'm gonna talk a little bit about bunch wide they have bunch strong offset i would recommend kind of basing out of this formation this specific bunch strong offset has a corner strike it has verts it has the rpo out of here wide trail and dagger unfortunately it doesn't have the play flood and it doesn't have that cheat motion play out of cardinals but bunch strong offset is kind of the number one like base formation in this game and then you have bunch strong nasty now this is a formation that i think we need to mention because it has a really good couple really good cheap motion plays it has cheap vertical slide cheap double post these are two of my personal favorite plays in the game you still have mesh flat spot and then you also have some kind of unique plays in in this bunch strong nasty that you don't see in a lot of playbooks they also have bunch tight in so you can mix bunch tight in in with triple out pa boot over rpo alert bubble a lot of good plays in this playbook and they still have a good tight open i think a good tight open is is kind of key for any good offense just because mesh spot is a very valuable play branch bench returns really good bench itself is really good verticals hb burst these are all really really good little plays here 
They have a Trey Y Flex um, that you could audible into as well as a Packer Trips. But really, those are kind of the best formations. And I want to just kind of run, th- run through what I would do uh, within this. So if you're going to be running this playbook, you do want to be kind of audibly around a little bit. Uh, but simple audibles such as this audible from bunch to bunch wide, um, I think is really good. Go to this cheat slot cross and just simply drag circle. You could stem this guy up one kind of run a combo like this right um you know i think this is a really 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 good little just basic way to play the game the other thing is again you can kind of come out in short side bunch audible to wide side bunch right you can come from wide side bunch and you can go okay well now we're going to go to pa boot over and maybe run a route combo like this right out of pa boot over super good play going to force a high low read consistently again just a lot of good under you know just a lot of really good just money formations uh more than anything else these are just good formations this is one of the best plays in the game that nobody really runs it's pa verticals cheat slide you have a seam streak to the square receiver and then what i would recommend is just a simple drag post and then a backside if you want to put the running back on a wheel you could Uh, but watch this cheat motion it's really good because it's that same idea if they play man coverage that cheat motion is going to consistently just shred man coverage for you. And then the other thing that I really like about this formation is let's say that they're just going to switch to zone coverage when you go to a cheat motion. Well, now I have PA double po- or PA cheat post and this cheat post, it can be stemmed up one and it's a short post. So the reason that I like that is because I could do something like a streak, right? Um, a running back in route, a post, Whatever I want to do, if I want to do cor- street corner flat on this side uh, with this backside post, I could do that. If I want to block the running back and just have a drag, that's perfectly fine as well. But take a look. It's the same exact cheat motion. Watch this post. It's going to cut over the middle, and it's going to get underneath of those deep quarters if you have a clear out. So I really like that play a lot. It's also really good, that specific post route. Uh, I did want to cover that real quick. That specific cheat motion post route is really good at being able to beat man and you'll see that here because again it's like a short post so watch how this just kind of cuts super sharp and i don't know how i got screamed at there but if we just have a little bit more time uh we'll we'll be able to beat this man coverage so again let me go back to this audible another thing real quick about this double post you can just stem this up and you see that it's going to be the same basic thing as a stemmed curl route so you can, the other thing about this playbook that's really good is you can quick hike a lot. So let me just stem this up one. And you see how we kind of stem this curl route up. That's going to be good against press man. And then that sharp cutting post, you're just going to ag back to the ball. You see, I get that aggressive catch animation. Hopefully our receiver will actually catch it. Chris Olave might never play for me ever again. Uh, but in general, this is just kind of a fun offense. I think this is a very, very good formation um, and just something that is worth running in this game. And again, you have the stemmed curl if you want to use that. But the short post is really good. I think it's so um, it just beats man really well over the middle. Easy read. And then you can put stuff backside that can obviously if you want to manipulate that way. Another formation that, again, I just don't think it's enough love in this game. I think bunch wide is really good this year. Um, Go back to it. So if I go to bunch wide, uh, I also have this play dig return. Uh, Dig return is obviously a staple play. Really good against zone. Uh, But this zig route, just worth mentioning, it's just a really, really good way to beat a lot of defenses um, in this game. And then another thing that I would recommend mixing in is audibling over here to this gun tight Y off and utilizing something like this cheat slash cross. You can stem the tight end all the way up if you want to make sure that that runs like a streak. You have this wheel route to the left side. I mean, it's it's literally, it's basically Durham, right? We can just turn this into a, a essentially Durham, uh, but now you have a cheap motion with it. So you see how that kind of gets into the seam. And then you also kind of have that, that post. Now we need something over the middle, of course, but... You know, that is what it is. So, you know, again, just audibly around uh, is what you want to be doing out of out of this out of this for sure. You can do some different. Again, I really like the cheat motion. Uh, I just think that's that's probably the main way that I would want to play this year. So you see if we did something like this, take a look at the circle receiver. He's going to kind of cheat motion back out to the flat. Nice little quick read for you. If they're not playing hard flats, you can take advantage of that. So. 
in general, uh, Packers literally has everything. Um, it just and, and, and the biggest thing is you just want to be audibly and around a lot. If you audible around a lot in this formation, there's going to be a lot uh, of success within this playbook. So my top five playbooks, just in summary, are Cardinals, Patriots, Bears, Chargers, and Packers. Thanks for watching the video. And if you guys want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure to join our school community. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, and the link is in the description.